Hello again. My name is Joe Barry, and I work for Visuality Systems. In this video, I will explain the long history of SMB and the various versions that have been released to date. This is important to know, as virtually all versions of SMB are still in use today. The original SMB protocol was invented by Barry Feigenbaum at IBM in 1983 with the aim of creating a networked file system. From there, it was extended by Microsoft and it became known as SIFS or the Common Internet File System, as well as subsequently being called SMB1. Over the years, it became clear that there were at least two issues with SMB1. The first was its inefficiency. It was known to be rather chatty, that is, communicating back and forth between the client and server before anything was really accomplished. The second problem was its lack of security. Remember that back then, security really wasn't much of an issue as it is today. The SMB1 protocol is over 30 years old, and it was not designed for the kind of attacks that users now face. As far back as September of 2016, Microsoft stated emphatically that users should not be using SMB1. In 2006, Microsoft introduced an enhanced version of SMB, known as SMB2, also known as version 2.0. The number of commands was significantly reduced, making the protocol much less chatty than before. In addition, a number of new features were added to this version of SMB. One feature was the ability to package a number of requests together into one data packet. In addition, it created the idea of a durable file handle, which can be used to restore a connection that was lost due to interconnectivity issues without restarting the connection from the start. Further, with the introduction of Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2 in 2010, a slightly enhanced version of SMB was released, known as version 2.1. It too included performance enhancements. The next major release of SMB, version 3.0, was released in 2012 with the announcement of Windows 8 and Server 2012. It offered end-to-end -end encryption of all SMB data packets, as well as a new packet signing algorithm for added security. Additional minor enhancements were made with the subsequent release of SMB version 3.0.2. The latest release of SMB is version 3.1.1. It was released with Windows 10 and Server 2016 back in 2015. Additional encryption algorithms were added to this version of SMB. In addition, it also made mandatory secure negotiation when connecting to clients using SMB2 or higher. So why do we still have all these different versions of SMB running? It's because SMB is tightly coupled to the Windows operating system that it runs on top of. So, for example, if your SMB server is a Windows 7 box, it only supports SMB 2.1 and lower. So even if your client is a Windows 10 box that supports SMB 3.1.1, it must still use SMB 2.1 to talk to the Windows 7 server. This slide shows the relationship between the versions of Windows servers versus clients and what version of SMB can run allowing the client and server to communicate with each other. Note that any operating system before Windows Vista, such as Windows 95, must still use SMB 1.0. So to conclude, I have presented the various versions of SMB, their pluses and minuses, as well as why all the different versions of SMB still exist. Thank you for listening.